Hello everyone, Eric Miller here, field agronomist, East Central Indiana. I want to talk a little bit today about foliar fungicides on soybeans. I've had a number of questions this week in regards to when is the most appropriate time to apply foliar fungicide to achieve the greatest grain yield response. Our research here at Pioneer shows that at growth stage R3, we achieve the greatest yield response to a foliar fungicide application. And to identify growth stage R3 on a soybean plant, we need to have a pod 3 16 of an inch in length on one of the four nodes from the top of the plant. So in this plant example, we count from the top, node number one, two, three, and four, and we see that there is a pod 3 16 of an inch in length on one of the four nodes from the top. So in this plant example, it is exactly growth stage R3. So why do we see the best yield response at growth stage R3? And that's because the plant is transitioning from setting pods to filling the pods. Preservation of photosynthetic area with use of a foliar fungicide helps the plant fill that grain throughout the remainder of the growing season. Equally important to the timing of foliar fungicide application is the coverage of the fungicide on the plant. So using a good amount of water carrier, about 15 gallons per acre or more, and a fine droplet size improves coverage of fungicide on the canopy. So when you're out in your fields looking for growth stage R3, remember that you're looking for a pod 3 16 of an inch in length on one of the four nodes from the very top of the plant. And also remember that coverage is key when applying fungicide to a soybean plant. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.